Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we are building an ecosphere for bladder snails. This is a biosphere, an ecosphere, an eco jar. They have many names, but ultimately it is a sealed, self sustaining ecosystem in a jar. So, to start with, we have a beautiful jar here. It's about a half gallon, and I got it for three bucks at Dollar General on sale, so it's a great deal with a locking lid with a silicone seal. It's very nice. I'm adding some locally sourced sand here. Uh, this is aquarium safe sand and it's ready to go. And uh, now we're gonna add some lava rock. We're using red lava rock here because uh, lava rock is very useful for a nano aquarium. It increases the surface area of the tank and uh, gives your beneficial bacteria places to grow. You need beneficial bacteria for any type of aquarium, even an ecosphere. So I'm gonna add a fair amount and uh, now we're going to add our plants. I'm using java moss here, along with one stem of Wadelia, which is a Chinese sunflower. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to use my tweezers here just to uh, maneuver the plants around a little bit and, you know, get them to spread out some. We're going to use a lava rock to pin down that java moss to just hold it in place a bit. And uh, that should be pretty good right there. This will act as filtration and aeration for the tank. Um, cleaning the water and providing some oxygen here and there. Now I'm adding our starting water. This is from an established aquarium, which will help to kickstart the uh, nitrogen cycle in the jar. And now we're using some wild pond samples here. These are samples from my ponds, and they contain a great deal of microorganisms. Uh, tiny creatures like ostracods and copepods and all sorts of small pets. The tank will be a bit cloudy at first. It'll be a little messy until things settle down. So if you're building your own ecosphere, uh, don't stress too much. It will be cloudy at first, and that's fine. And I'm just using the tweezers to uh, move the plants around a little bit. So now we're going to use uh, some samples with my um, DIY pipette. Yeah, it's a pipette, like uh, for chemistry class. Uh, and I'm just injecting samples here. These are... Uh, Water samples that contain a great deal of detritus worms and ostracods, mainly because I want to see them in this aquarium. And uh, detritivores are very useful for ecospheres. They're uh, crucial for the way that I build tanks. So here is a uh, selection of bladder snails from my farm aquarium. These bladder snails are very hardy and uh, part of my breeding program. Uh, they're the main stars of this aquarium, and they come with some duckweed and some... Uh, uh, bladder wort, excuse me, <laughs> a few stuck to my fingers there, which happens quite a bit if you uh, deal with bladder snails, but they're harmless, so that's okay. All right, so the tank has had a few minutes to settle down, and she's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and add them some food to start with. This is a slice of cucumber. Uh, I feed all of my snails and worms with cucumber slices. Occasionally, I use other foods like strawberries. Uh, but I find that cucumbers are very useful, and uh, they don't affect the water quality much. Uh, your snails will love them, and it's a great way to kickstart any type of aquarium like this. Uh, this is going to be a partially sealed ecosphere, meaning I may open it occasionally to trim some of the moss and to uh, feed them, you know, additional foods. Uh, but generally, this will be a sealed, self-sustaining ecosystem, which I just, uh, you know, give a little boost here and there with uh, a little bit of food. Um, mainly, I don't want the duckweed to grow out of control and to block the surface, and I don't want the moss to uh, just take over the tank and, you know, hide everything. I want to be able to see in here. So we will occasionally open this one, um, just to keep it nice, you know. I run a great deal of ecospheres, and most of them are sealed, but those videos just don't do too well. Nobody really watches them, so I want to have a lot of life in this tank, and uh, I want to see these snails breed and reproduce and just massive numbers. <laughs> that's what I like to see, and hopefully that's what you guys like as well. So here's a great look at the snails. They're adapting to the new conditions here. They're traveling down to the food. They're coming back to the surface. Uh, this is about two hours after setup, and uh, the snails look great. Yep, my lighting is a little bright here, but that should be fine. Uh, this tank will be sat on a windowsill with uh, natural sunlight, indirect sunlight, I should mention. So if you're running your own ecosphere, a windowsill is a great place. Uh, sunlight is your best bet. You can use a lamp or, you know, some sort of artificial lighting. 
but in my experience, uh, natural sunlight is the best thing that you can do, and it's free. So, you know, why not make use of it? These particular bladder snails are white in color, with, of course, a brown or a tan shell. Um, bladder snails can change colors based on the foods that they eat, and uh, that's my experience anyway. I'm no scientist, but uh, that's what I've seen. And, of course, you know, mine eat a lot of cucumber slices, so it makes sense that they've stepped, uh, stuck to that white coloration of the body. But uh, we should see this moss growing quite well. It's a slow-growing plant, but it should do well in this aquarium. And uh, coupled with the duckweed, we should have plenty of filtration to keep the water quality pretty nice. Uh, but here's the jar aquarium. This is our ecosphere. It's set up. It's ready to go. And uh, a situation like this can run for years with the lid completely closed. Uh, but I may open it occasionally to feed them or trim plants. So that's it, guys. This was a quick video. I wanted to get right to the point, And I hope you enjoyed it. This is Bucket Ponds, and I will see you next time. Well, all right, guys. Uh, so that's the video. This is my bladder snail ecosphere tutorial. Uh, this video may have been a bit fast, uh, but I was uh, working with suggestions from certain friends and family online. Uh, they said I need to work on my editing, <laughs> and I need to get to the point. You know, I need to, to hurry up and stop jibber-jabbering so much. So uh, that's what we did. I tried to jump right into the build, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I covered all the bases. We have our hardscape, the sand and lava rock. We have our plants, the java moss and the duckweed, and of course our Wedelia, our Chinese sunflowers, which uh, I did not mean to include them, but you know, one of the stems snuck into the tank, so maybe it'll grow. That usually does pretty well underwater. And uh, of course, we have our pets. The main focus is the bladder snails, but I, of course, added some detritivores like our uh, detritus worms and our paramecia and some other pets. Um, those are very crucial for how I run aquariums. Um, I don't like to clean stuff, so I like to try to force to get in there and break it down and clean up the bottom of the tank whenever possible. Uh, ultimately, I believe the video was pretty effective, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if we're lucky, we got some pretty cool hitchhikers from my pond samples and uh, my other aquariums, of course, like green hydra and copepods and ostracods and too many of them to name water mites and all sorts of stuff. So if you enjoyed this, I have quite a lot of these kinds of things going on at the channel. Uh, check it out. Like and subscribe. Check out my content for more, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.